there. I hope that you're having a great day. My name is Kelly. I've come on here today to talk to you about fascia and fascial release, which is one of the services that I offer. So fascia is what you can see in these diagrams, which is the blue part, right? Coming down the back, down the arms, down the legs, and down the chest here, down, you can see down the side of the body, down the glutes, down the IT band, through the knee, and then you might be able to see it, it's really, really faint down the side of the calf there, and it actually wraps underneath the foot. Um, so I'm dating myself by saying this, but much like stirrup pants of my youth used to. So the fascia um, drops under there, much like those um, stirrup pants did. And then additionally, we have um, a fascial sling that actually comes up from the heel up towards the ball of the foot and then across to the big toe. Um, so basically, what this fascia is, is it's kind of like the internal saran wrap that holds our bodies together. So it weaves in and out of our muscles, bones, joints, what have you, and holds us all in one piece. So to give you an example of what it is, if you were to buy a skinless chicken breast, if you notice it's not really skinless, you still have that kind of silvery white thin skin that covers it, that would actually be the myofascia or the part that's surrounding the muscle of the chicken. So we have that around each one of our muscles uh, also. And then we have just the plain fascia without the myo in front of it, which is everywhere. So if you have plantar fasciitis, which uh, itis, all that means, uh, like arthritis or bursitis, it's just inflammation in something. So in the case of arthritis, it's inflammation in our joints. Um, and in the case of plantar fasciitis, it's the plantar surface of the foot or the sole of the foot um, and inflammation of the fascia in that area, which is why it can cause pain. So it can cause pain in the foot. Um, it can even, if you've got the fascia twisted, and this isn't just indicative of plantar fasciitis, but anyone can get the fascia in their feet twisted. And then it can radiate up into the ankle, into the leg, into the knee. It might even refer all the way up into the hip um, because we usually compensate and because we walk on our feet and the leg is a load-bearing limb it's going to carry that pain all the way up so that's a sling that i was talking about that goes from the heel then up to the ball of the foot and across to the toe you've also got some stuff going on through here as well as that little stirrup that we showed in the image and you've got multiple slings throughout your whole body so what you want to do is you want to basically rub that ball, you're going to use the floor, um, from the heel up to the ball of the foot, uh, or from the ball of the foot uh, down towards the heel, whichever feels better for you. Um, you can rub it up the side wall of the foot to release anything that's tight there uh, around the heel, on the bottom of the heel, up towards the ball of the foot, into the toes, uh, into the arch, basically whatever you want. So I'm just going to use the floor. You can do it standing as well as seated. I personally uh, prefer seated just because you have a little bit more control and I can put a little bit more pressure on it. So I'm going to push from the ball of my foot down to my heel and then I'm going to basically lift my leg, no pressure as I come back and then pressure as I move forward. No pressure, pressure, no pressure, pressure. Okay, now I can go to the side wall of my foot like I talked about. Sometimes to try and keep the ball in place because it does have a tendency to roll when you try and do the side of the foot, I'll sometimes put it up against a baseboard so that it has the baseboard to kind of hold it in place. You can also turn uh, the foot the other way, going to the inside angle of the instep. And uh, basically you'll feel, anything that feels tender is the area that needs a little bit of work. So it's kind of like you're working out the knots in your feet, much like you know when you have a knot in your back and someone takes their thumb and they kind of rub at the knot and it kind of hurts so good, if you will. It doesn't feel great, but you know that once they've broken that up, that it will feel better afterwards because it won't be tied in a knot. The same is indicative of your feet. So once you work out the knots in your feet or the folds or the, the wrinkles, they're gonna feel a lot better. So there might be some discomfort as you're rolling, like it doesn't feel particularly pleasant, but it should never feel like pain. So if you're experiencing actual pain, then you need to ease off with the amount of pressure that you're exerting. So just go easy, <laughs> if you will. It should only ever feel like strong tension and um, moderate, if you will, discomfort, never pain. So keep rolling. Keep, uh, you know, making the health of those feet uh, improved and then that should help you to get out there and walk and hike and experience nature and certainly making it through this lockdown and uh, wishing you all lots of love, light and integrated shadow. Hoping that you have a fabulous day from Reiki Releases and from me, Kelly. All the best 
and hope that your feet feel better. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to message me directly and we can talk further. Or if you'd like to book um, a fascia release session, I would be happy to do that. And it can be uh, incorporated uh, with Reiki so you can have some Reiki added to your fascia release or just fascia release all on its own. You can take uh, a look at the testimonials uh, in uh, the link below and see some other people's experience with fascia release and try it out for yourself. Unfortunately, the fascia release can only be done in person. Uh, it cannot be done through a screen, so uh, your appointment in person will have to be after lockdown, but uh, otherwise I would be happy to book something with you and certainly happy to answer any questions that you uh, may have until we can see each other. All the best, thank you very much, take care, and hope that you have a fabulous day. All the best from me and from Reiki Releases. Bye-bye now.